Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano, worldwide volcano news update. Saturday, November 6th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. La Palma still clearing its throat. Another lava episode began just a few hours ago, much reduced from other events. And we'll get to that later in the show. But big news at Bartabunga where a strong magnitude 4 earthquake happened today. Let's start with the seismic map. Seismic update. No quakes of note. We have increased activity in the Indonesia area with a 6 magnitude on Gorontolo, 155 kilometers east-southeast of that region. Increased activity in the Tonga region with a small cluster of moderate quakes. But no other quakes of note could potentially point out this 4.3 in Libertad, but normal activity at best. We are in a coronal whole stream watch, so there could be an uptick in earthquake activity. We're at a lull for seven and eight magnitude earthquakes, so a big one is coming soon. Interesting news coming out from the USGS about the strange earthquakes in South Carolina. They've been traced to a man-made lake, and we believe the analysis here, Lake Monticello in South Carolina, has now caused three earthquake swarms, a series of small earthquakes near Northwest of Columbia, South Carolina, have caused by a man-made structure that was built 40 years ago. Now, there have been three earthquake swarms because of the weight of this lake pushing down in this region of the Appalachian Fault. And it's simply releasing stresses from the new Madrid event almost two, well, 200 years ago now. These tremors are not unprecedented. The reservoir set off a series of minor earthquakes when it was first filled in the 70s. Another swarm occurred between 1996 and 99. And since, since October 25th, there have been seven earthquakes detected near the lake. So, all related. Probably this lake is quite filled with water. That would be my guess. So, nothing to see there except some man-made volcanic act, or earthquake activity. Similar to frat quakes, only this is the weight of the water. Now, Worldwide Volcano News Update. We have Nevado de Ruiz to 20,000 feet today. Also, Popo, Ibu, Reventador, Sangay, La Palma, Nevados de Chilan, Sabancaya, and Suanosima all puffing and passing today. Sangay to 20,000 feet, Sabancaya to 24,000 feet, Reventador to 15,000 feet, Ibu to 8,000 feet, and Popo. Well, they did a flyby and they got some great pictures to measure the new crater dimensions. Now, this Volcano has been quite active. It's continuously active. Uh, color Aviation color code is yellow. I mean, the volcanic <laughs> unrest is it yellow. And it's been erupting to around 18,000 to 20,000 feet on and off for years. The alert level for the volcano remains yellow. The explosive eruption of the volcano continues, dominated by near-constant ash emissions to 19,000 feet, according to the report. And the flyby picture is amazing. Here is a larger uh, crater, and here's the current active crater. So you can see a large event could potentially blow some of this out of there, but it's currently puffing out of this hole right there. Now, Iceland geology. If you like Iceland geology, please come over here and support our friend John Freeman, who created IcelandGeology.net and keeps us updated on some of the most important things that are happening on our planet, including a strong earthquake at Bartabunga. This earthquake happened about 24 hours ago with a magnitude of 4.0 and took place at the Bartabunga volcano. A swarm of smaller earthquakes happened at the same time before and after the strongest quake. And this is the region in question here underneath the glacier. Now, this activity shows that Bartabunga continues to inflate after the eruption of 2014-15 and does not indicate that an eruption is about to happen. We would need a lot more earthquakes uh, in order to start to make that prediction. But they have been increasing, especially at Ostia. So Ostia still increasing with more clustering. And, well, we're keeping a close eye on it. There's that four magnitude that happened uh, just about 24 hours ago. And here we'll blow up the Vantiocal region where Bunga is underneath the glacier here. Now, there have been some joculips coming out of the rivers here which means that there is some melting in heat associated with Bartabunga and now a large earthquake. So activity continues to simmer and build under Bartabunga and earthquake swarming continues to happen by Ostia. This is a VEI-4 
volcano right here at Astra. This is a VEI-6 volcano at Bartabunga. VEI-6 was confirmed back in 1477, about the same time that the Reykjanes Ridge eruption, last time that erupted. So there is a, a slight connection there with the VEI-6 eruption. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Now, on to La Palma, because I know everyone's waiting for the La Palma data. We have earthquakes and seismicity and more. Oh, my. Explosive activity continuing at the volcano. Uh, we have ash advisories to 8,000 feet. They've been sitting around there for four or five days. Aviation color code remains red. There seems to be lots of ash coming out of this new event, albeit much more reduced. And now let's talk about the earthquakes over the last 24 hours. The least amount of earthquakes since the eruption began, which is more good news. Just around 33 quakes in the last 24 hours, the largest being a four magnitude. What does that mean to you and I? Well, it means that there's definitely reduced earthquakes by hundreds of percent compared to earlier. So a reduction of 5x or more. Actually, 10x from the maximum. The maximum was over 200 quakes, and now we're down about 20 quakes. Just good news. And, and this is for a long duration. This is now over two days. About 36 hours, uh, about three days total, 72 hours, if you start right here after the reduction, right there. So what does that mean? With increased tremor, that means that this is probably magma coming out. It certainly is. The magma started at the base of this, and it's been coming out now pretty good for a few hours. It's dropped down significantly and may drop off a cliff soon, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, we still think this volcano is shutting down based on the histogram data that has got two different lines of drop down to zero that we're following. And also, the last three days, if we're looking at quakes at depth, there's no deep quakes anymore. So it's our supposition that this magma emplacement that happened over the last 15 days is now squirted up into the upper chamber. There's almost no magma in the lower chamber. The upper chamber is now emptying, emptying and this baby will soon be over. As we've said now for three or four days, in just a short period of time. This is what it looked like in the last 15 days, a huge amount of activity moving into that lower chamber, pushing up into the upper chamber, and now the new data set showing almost no activity at depth. The larger quakes are probably collapse quakes here, down here, of shortening of this lower magma chamber, and much of the smaller quakes are up here. Seismic tremor is due to the magma coming out on the surface, which we have here. Here we are at the Canary Island speed, which is covered in ash, and there's almost no visibility. You can see some cinders coming off of the cinder cone itself. The main vent is still pushing strombolian activity just a few hundred feet. And just two weeks ago, we had lava fountaining out of this that was a, a thousand feet high, 300 to 500 meters. And what we're seeing right now is pretty dismal. There's another small vent down here, which is shooting out active, uh, stuff to just a few hundred feet. And let's blow this up full screen for you. Still a pretty spectacular display, albeit uh, much less activity. And because of the seismic tremor, there has to be magma in that upper chamber that needs to be pushed out before this is over. So that's clearly what's happening now. <coughs> now, Notasia, another live streaming channel. So give them a thumbs up over at Afar TV on feed number two. We'll link you below. Subscribe there. And also at Notasia, they've got a different camera. So give them a thumbs up at Notasia. Subscribe to the channel over there. And they've got a pretty good cam that's at a different angle that's getting a lot less ash and soot. And they're literally zoomed in on the top of that cinder cone. So here's the cinder cone here, the main cinder cone. Here's a few small vents and the lava flow coming out below. Now, be, a lot of people think this is a huge uptick in activity, and it's not. They've just zoomed in on the cinder cones. So what you're seeing is another effusive lava event as this volcano quiets down on all fronts. And in order for it to end, it has to push all of the lava out of all of the chambers. And then it will run silent. And that's that. It's our final word. <laughs> no, not actually. Our final word is going to be on Kilauea. 
and Kilauea volcano lava reaches a new milestone. Now, this eruption began a few months ago, and, and lava has gradually been filling the caldera. The ca caldera has now reached a new milestone as it rises in the Halemaomoa crater. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory noted that the eastern edge of the lava lake is now level with and has begun to advance into the lowest of the downdrop blocks from the 2018 collapse event. Now, this is adding pressure to the entire Kilauea system, and the higher this fills, the likelihood of a rift eruption down lower due to the pressure increases. And what I mean by that is that the volcano here, the Kilauea caldera and the lava lake here, are just in this small area. There is an eastern rift and a southwestern rift zone that lava tubes and lava can be pushed out and erupt on. We saw that in Pahala in the 2018 event. We may see it happening soon again as enough lava fills this caldera. Now, luckily, based on the observations on the East Rift Zone, there's no unusual activity and as of yet, but the lava lake continues to fill. Here you see the red zone. That's all the fresh, active lava lake. And so activity continues to reach milestones at Hawaii. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As we try to give you the most up-to-date data and analysis of volcanoes erupting worldwide for your benefit. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. That's boom to knowledge. Mm -hmm.